Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So another video in bonding and molecular structure. So let's get moving. Bam! Today we're talking about the exceptions to the Lewis dot structure rules. So let's talk about those two major exceptions to the Lewis dot structure rules. First, number one is boron and beryllium can be electron deficient. That means that they can have less than an octet and you're going to be just fine and okay and move on. Okay, all others in periods too, that includes carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine must obey the octet rule. No questions, those four must obey the octet rule. Make sure it happens, make it so. Okay, period three and above can exceed the octet rule that is greater than an octet. That's called a valent shell or expansion, or they are called hypervalent molecules. The reason that this occurs is because the increased size of period three atoms, and there's a minor impact due to the three D orbitals being the first time that you have a D orbital because there are no two Ds. Okay. Can you double bond a hydrogen? Hmm. Answer. What do you think? That looks like a double bonded hydrogen. What rule does hydrogen follow? It follows the, that's right, the duet rule. So this is a no, you cannot double bond a hydrogen. I see it all the time and it drives me crazy. I just want to take that piece of paper and uh, burn it. <laughs> all right, what does a hydrogen look like? There are no exceptions to this. Hydrogen always looks like this. It has a single or a sigma bond. There are no lone pairs on hydrogen. That is it, that's the only way that hydrogen looks like. If you draw hydrogen in any way, other shape or form other than that, then it's wrong, plain and simple, okay? Can you double bond a halogen? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, those are the halogens, okay? When they are not a central element, can you double bond them? It would look like this. Hmm, what do you think? The answer, again, a resounding absolutely no way, no how, okay? What does a halogen look like? When it is not the central element, it looks like this. That is a single bond and three sets of lone pairs of electrons. It's very, very simple. I see um, halogens double bonded in Lewis dot structures all the time, and it just makes me go crazy. Don't do that. Okay, single bond those halogens, three sets of lone pairs of electrons, and there's a reason for this. Okay, we'll discuss that later on when we're doing other types of Lewis dot structures, resonance structures, and formal charge answers why this is the case. So you're going to have to hold on to that until we get to formal charge. You got that? All right. So that's another crazy hat video, and I'm the crazy hat chemist. And, okay, give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Give me a thumbs up if I scared you. And uh, give me a subscription to my YouTube channel. Pass on my YouTube channel to all your friends and please have them subscribe. See you later. Thank you very much. Bye now.